People will feel the impact of climate change most strongly through water. 90% of all disasters are water-related already. We don't have to look into the future. Now, 90%. Two billion people around the world will be affected by too much water, and another two or almost two billion by not enough water. And you know these images from around here. It's already costing 15% of our local and regional GDPs. Now, so this is not the future. This is the economic de default of water. And there's a business case to be made. If you look at the world, the assets at risk because of water in 2050, and this is only sea level rise and surges and uh, intense rainfall and storm, add up to the trillions. And guess who's leading the list? The new Atlantis, Miami, $278 billion at risk. Next comes Gangzhou in China, and then it's New York, and then it's New Orleans. Hey, the US is very present there. And is there any protection scheme in place? No. All risks, economic, cultural, ecological, environmental, man-made, increase in impact and frequency. So in other words, we'll have more, and it's going to be worse. So when you wake up at night and you're sweaty, not because of booze, but because you dreamt bad, it's about this. This is the heart, you know, this is heart. On the other hand, all those crises, are interrelated, and that interrelationship makes it possible. They're interrelated both in the origin, where they come from, as well as in the impact. And an interrelationship from origin and impact makes it possible actually to mitigate and adapt. So this is what we can do. So this is what we started, but this is how we can change the world. So there is a way forward.